Hi guys, I'm Ryde from Coffee Beans Delivered and today I thought I'd change it up a bit and look at five interesting facts that you might not know about coffee. Even though we're in what is called the third wave of coffee, there's still so much unknown about coffee, like the fact that it's actually a seed of a cherry and not a bean or a legume that grows on a bush, but actually a cherry that grows on a tree. And if you're sitting there thinking, oh, I thought it was a bean, don't worry, I used to think the same thing once upon a time too. And after you've finished watching this video, make sure you go watch my video, Where Does Coffee Come From? Another misconception is that coffee comes from Italy and was invented by them. And although there was the first espresso machine invented in 1884 in Turin, Italy, the actual drink itself was started a thousand years back in Ethiopia and then in the Yemen. For some of you, you're probably thinking, yeah, I already knew that, tell me something I don't know. Well, here's my five most interesting facts you probably didn't know about coffee. Number one, happy wife, happy life. Yeah, that's a pretty good axiom, and maybe it was from 1903, the first original sort of evidence that it occurred in a verse from a song called The Work and Wages Party, but maybe it goes back further than that to the 15th century Istanbul when a law was stated that a woman had a power to divorce her husband if he did not meet the needs of supplying her with an adequate amount of coffee. I can understand that. Number two. We've all heard of this Johann Sebastian Bach song, The Cello Suite, but have you heard of his Café Cantata? It's a bizarre comedic opera with duet with two parts. The father scolding his daughter for drinking too much coffee, telling her that's the reason why she doesn't have a lover. And she replies, if I stop drinking coffee, I'll become a piece of dried up old roasted goat. The song goes on back and forth between the father and the daughter until he gives her an ultimatum. Give up drinking coffee or I won't allow you to get married. So she lies and agrees, but when she's talking to her suitors, she says, I want a prenup that says I'm allowed to drink as much coffee as I want or I won't marry you. Bach wrote this song at the time to address the growing concerns of coffee drinkers. You see, coffee houses back then were really rowdy. Musicians used to party and drink and men and women would mingle without their proper chaperones. And people thought that this was the concoction of the devil. And it tasted, as their words, essence of old boots, which they obviously haven't watched my video on how to extract a perfect coffee. If you're interested in learning more about the song, I would highly recommend you follow the links below to the translation of the song and read all the lyrics. They are hilarious. Number three, coffee is actually responsible for getting Brazil to the Olympics in 1932. 1932 was during the Great Depression. And so a lot of countries couldn't actually afford to get their teams to Los Angeles. Brazil was one of them. So they came up with an ingenious way of doing this. They sent their 60 or so athletes on the back of a cargo ship filled with coffee exports. So all the athletes jumped aboard and because the ship had to make a few stops along the way to sell the coffee, the Brazilian team just made it in time for the ribbon cutting. Cuba, however, was not so lucky because they sent their athletes with a shipment of sugar. But because sugar prices fell during that time, they couldn't actually afford to come up with enough money and so they were turned around and sent back home. Number four, the saying that decaf is 99.9% .9 caffeine free is very slightly a marketing gimmick. And whilst it's not a lie, it doesn't tell you the whole story. Because saying that decaf coffee is 99.9% .9 caffeine free sounds like they've taken a regular bean and sucked out 100% of the caffeine in there, except for that last little tiny bit. But really, an irregular Arabica coffee bean has only 97 to 98.9% .9 caffeine free anyway. So really, we're talking about the difference of about 1% because coffee bean isn't made up of just caffeine, like a lot of people believe. It's actually made up of over a thousand different complex chemical compounds. And caffeine is just the tiniest bit in there. And that's just enough to get us started. 
So when you're next thinking about caffeine-free coffee, understand that regular coffee is pretty much caffeine-free as well. But don't start drinking regular coffee if you've got a heart condition, please don't. Because it's still gonna jumpstart and give you those heart palpitations because all you need is only that little tiny percent of caffeine. And the number five most interesting fact that you probably didn't know about coffee is something that I think even people in the industry don't really know about. The story goes, in 1991, in Cambridge University, Quinton Stafford Fraser and about 15 other colleagues in the systems group computing department all shared one coffee pot in a room located next down the stairs and across a couple of levels called the Trojan Room. The coffee pot only had enough coffee in it to make about three cups of coffee and not all the students were next door to it. So some of them had to go down three flights of stairs and walk across a lot of corridors over a few minutes just to get their coffee. So what would often happen during winter is that some students would walk through the freezing cold weather down the corridors only to find out that their nearer colleagues had already beaten them to the coffee pot and drunk it all. And sick and tired of missing out, Quentin salvaged an old video camera, a computer, and a frame grabber left over from an old project. He then pointed the camera at the coffee pot and ran a specifically designed server program, piece of code to grab images at regular intervals and it connected it to their local network so that anyone from the group in any building could log in through their browser and see whether the coffee pot had enough coffee in it before making that long and arduous walk. Now, it's important to realize that it's 1991. So HTTP was fairly new back then and web browsers could only display text. So what they basically created was the world's first webcam. It actually got to the point where anyone around the world could log in via their browser and look at the coffee pot. And I just love how history has woven coffee throughout its many, many chapters and people's lives are surrounded by this amazing drink and how they have to have it in their lives. And I'm sure there's a lot of other interesting facts that I don't know about coffee. So if you have one, leave it in the comment section below or send us a message and I might do another video about five interesting facts you didn't know about coffee in the future. I'm Ryan from Coffee Beans Delivered. Enjoy your brew.